So basically, uh, what, what we're discussing today is pretty much leadership, right? Um, and I know people, people who, who have read the third book from the Journey of Elena series would hear, would see the least stupid person in the room and think, uh, what's, who am I jabbing? Who am I attacking? The truth is I'm not attacking anybody. I'm actually trying to talk about leadership. And I'm trying to focus on it's only the person that knows the way. The most informed guy is the one who leads the way. And so if we can get more people informed, we can get more people leading the way in the industry, directing younger people coming in um, and finding a way to, to solve problems. Um, so, you know, I, I mean, talking about knowing what you're doing, why do you guys think we don't know what we're doing here? Do you guys think we don't know what we're doing? Why is it so difficult to do business in music, in the music industry here? I'm just going to go jump straight to it. I don't want, I'm, not, you're, I'm going to have your profiles, so I'm not going to be asking how did you start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. It's a combination of problems. The number one problem we have to think about here is the structural problems that we have. Okay. I mean, um, when you're thinking about structure, right, you're thinking about laws, you're thinking about the system, you're thinking about partnerships, mm. you're thinking about um, establishing things, you're thinking about employing people. Then before, after the structural issues, they are then going into problems like um, the way that you are going to um, make the business run on its own. Mm. Say, for example, you wanted to found a streaming, a streaming um, platform in this country, right? One of the reasons one of the biggest streaming platform companies in this country has, is not here is because, not just because there are problems with the fact that people on ground do, can't stream music. Mm. They can't pay one phone four dollars to stream music because they can't eat. Yeah. There also there is also the laws the laws that are preventing them from doing that because they don't want to um, to to get your money out of the country. You have to turn it to a particular currency. Mm. So don't, they don't want to do yeah. that. So that's why they, they have said, okay, you guys are not even giving us anything. So why should we be here in the first place? So they're like, man, we are staying up. We are not doing anything here. So structural problems, and then you are thinking about the market itself. Mm. Because as a record label, what are you doing? You want to sell music to the people, right? But then, a universal music or a Sony music is not going to release a $20 million budget for the Nigerian market. Why? Because they might not make it back. Okay. So I have a... So in reference to that, I, I had... There was one hostel I was doing one time okay. where I had to go and sit in Suruleri, Ujua Legba, to be precise to sit with bus conductor. I did the Ujua Legba, I did the Keja, I did Ajegunle. And I was supposed to see how, you know those guys that charge phones yeah. for yeah, people? Yeah. So I wanted to see if we could duplicate that in universities yes. and stuff. So I had this investor that I ended up wasting my time, but <laughs> we, you know, I went there to look at these, these things. And so I went there to look at charging phones. They had this switchboard. They had this board, like 12 sockets on it. And then they did that. And I remember just sitting there for three hours, just watching, talking to Agberos, buying Fan Yogo. Anyway. So I, I had... I had um, so we sat, we were talking, you know, going through the whole thing. You know, tell me, oh, hey, it's fresh, boy. Hey, yeah, go buy us. I bought fine. You that day. I bought all sorts. <laughs> so I, I, but I noticed something. I noticed that people were paying for music, right? So when you're charging your phone, they'll ask you, do you want yes. yeah. upload? Yeah. Yeah, we upload new, 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 new hits, new playlist. Yes. And... They were doing this at a hundred to hundred and fifty naira yes. per upload, yes. and I just sat there. Literally, eighty percent of the people that had feature phones or smartphones took music, yeah. and I was thinking to myself, the issue isn't that Nigerians don't buy music. The issue is the price points, mm. and in America, where an average, even a storekeeper can earn up to five hundred dollars, yes. right? And they have a transport system. They have a bunch of things that sort of aid transportation and movements and living, right? Um, 
if he if that person spends if he or she spends ten dollars on two albums, nobody would die. Minimum wage just got moved to twenty k, and we know that people don't pay their staff. Yes. Minimum wage. So imagine a storekeeper who's earning twenty k, and you remove ten dollars, which is now four k, hmm. to buy music. Hmm. If you are married, your wife owes you. <laughs> you don't even need to be married. Jonathan, and, and, and so I'm just saying, if you are responsible for somebody, yeah. they will attack you. Yes. And I feel like that's part of the issue of identifying the revenue streams. I don't think that Nigeria is, is, I don't think people don't pay. I don't think people don't want to pay for music. I think that we just haven't properly figured out how to reach them. So from experience, right, uh, I remember when Boomplay went to Kano, went to Kano, Zaria, Kaduna, some places in the north, and the feedback was, we never knew we could pay for music like this, or we never knew that it was easy to get, like they always thought they had to give, if they wanted to listen to a Drake or a Rihanna, they had to go online and download it illegally. Mm. They didn't know that it was easy for them to get by the time we now got into the universities there were you know some of them knew you know yeah. because that's that's the young crowd so some of them were using other streaming devices and whatnot but so back to your point there's there's also apart from this revenue problem there's an information problem yeah sure the information problem is huge it's huge i remember when i when i uh introduced the guy that i buy suya from to boom play and he started he was like what that so i think they get to, he, he was shocked like legit shocked yeah. and there are a bunch of people out there is it because we're stuck on social media yes social media is a big bubble yeah i remember having a conversation with him one day talking, and we're arguing about something and he asked me how many people on twitter i said like uh, roughly 10 million how many people in nigeria yeah it's a lot it's not, yeah it's not even half so here's the thing, right? <clears throat> as much as we have a, an information problem and people pay for music, this is also the part of sustainability of these ideas. Mm. So let's look at it from this perspective. There's a reason why the guy... So I grew up in Accra and I went to school in Ado. Right? Ado Ekitsa. Mm. And there's this place called um, Fireshare Market in Ado. Okay. So when I bought my first multi- multimedia phone, I remember my dad gave the guy like two thousand naira to load the phone. Load was all they were calling it at the time. Mm-hmm. But it's a reason why those businesses didn't survive for long. Because if you load your phone now with two thousand, you are not going back there yeah. to load it anymore. So that was the problem of, of sustainability. The problem with Nigerians is it's not that they can't pay for it the first time. Mm. Are they going to pay for it the second time? And Okay, I was speaking with a cousin of mine who lives in um, who lives in Peach about a month ago, and he was using a streaming platform, right? And he he was excited at the start to use that streaming platform to stream music, but the problem was when he discovered that oh, I only use I only use um, about five gigabytes in a month, but then when he started streaming music. So it was like, so it's not just the fact that I'm paying for yeah. this, I have to then use my data. Okay. Sustainability. Sustainability. And people cannot afford, Nigerians are very, we are cynical people. See, you'll be surprised that 60, 70% of people who are on social media are talking about, those top free music, they are not paying for music. Facts. <laughs> Big facts. They are not paying. Not because they can't afford it, yeah. but they are not just paying. Oh, yes. What they do is, they have a lot of, we know people like this. They have a lot of IDs, they are friends' IDs, they will use it on different phones. They are don't want to pay. How much is now the hmm. They haven't going too far. There are people that if a new, let's say a new album comes out now, they will take picture of where they can get it from, <laughs> screenshot, and tag the artist and say, oh, this is your song and jam. And it's showing you a Kennedy to put blogspot.com. And you as an artist, you're just like, 
Thank you. <laughs> 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 Shout out to 